I mean, I always love the proverb. They say, uh, if you can walk, you can dance. If you talk, you can sing. And the drums picked me. I didn't pick the drums. Um, my father is a drummer. He wanted me to play the drums. He taught me drums from a very young age. One of the things I felt was a lucky thing is having parents in the music industry on a professional level, having some idea that this is not going to be an easy path or a simple path. And if I want to be successful, I need to work both harder and in different ways than everybody else. First and foremost, I am interested in rhythm and studying rhythm. When I'm thinking of beat science, I'm thinking of the study of time. And you know, one of the only ways that we have to measure time is to put a consistent pulse to it, right? Which is a rhythm, it's just a BPM. And so, to me, that's science. And then if you look at, basically, you say that everything that exists is vibration. And I think that's a special place to be able to uh, communicate with people and we get to deal in the abstract. And so that's important to me too. Uh, if, if Paris was a rhythm, what would it be? A funky rhythm. How about that? Because Paris has got the funk. You know, it's always special when I get to come back to Paris and play and, you know, have kind of so much family and, and old lifetime supporters and friends um, in the house, which just, you know, elevates the experience for me and makes it kind of like a, a special place to be. People have been saying jazz is dead or dying for decades. Directly, you know, jazz as the term really, to me, refers to a kind of time period and idiom. And ultimately, you know, a lot of it's about being in the now and, uh, and just creating, trying to create something beautiful. Hopefully have the longevity to continue to do this for a long time and have the space to continue to grow so that in a long time, I am able to have grown and create music that I can't imagine at this point in my life. Yeah.